Dylan tonight is dead at age 62. He was a man who seemed larger than life both in and out of the wrestling ring. And tonight, Hendrix Abrandi profiles a person who helped to start the pro wrestling craze. The world's most dangerous wrestler, Dick the Bruiser! For over three decades, he ruled pro wrestling. A huge man, even at 5'10", Dick the Bruiser towered over opponents and put big footprints on a sport that was nothing much to speak of until he came along. People would not miss a Saturday Night Wrestling if they knew Dick was going to be involved in it. Beginning in the 50s and running all the way into the 80s, Dick the Bruiser cultivated an image as a rough-and-tumble, good old-fashioned American hero, a John Wayne of the ring, who an old associate of his remembers had a charisma that wrestling fans found hard to resist. And I'm gonna break them and I'm gonna take their nose, pull their tongue out. They saw up there an idol. And like any idol, if you were in the same room with that idol, uh, you know, and he responds to you, if he's looking out into the crowd, you, you think he's looking right at you. Richard Afflis was born in Delphi and attended high schools in Indianapolis and Lafayette. He wound up playing football for the Green Bay Packers of the NFL, but soon it was the money and theater of wrestling that lured him into the ring. He would, you know, he would just, you know, kind of like turn to the crowd, you know, and just, you know, raise his hand, and like, they'd they go crazy. They, they could go crazy. For a quarter century, Dick promoted, syndicated, and grappled in his own televised wrestling shows, building a worldwide empire and a reputation as a wild and crazy man. Yeah, I went through all a few tannins in my day and a few ballrooms, and uh, so I like that kind of stuff. But Dick the Bruiser was far more than just a wrestler. He was also an active member of the local community. Just ask local veterans about that. Long-term care patients at the VA Medical Center received visits from Dick the Bruiser at least twice a year. He was a friendly kind of guy. He wasn't your typical celebrity who would just come and say, hello, how are you? Let me sign an autograph. Good for local charities and causes like recycling, too. Dick the Bruiser will be remembered for all that, but friends say this gentle giant was something even more rare in the world of wrestling. He was a gentleman. Okay, that's all right. Hendrick Sabrandi, 6 News. Good guy. Gonna miss him. Yeah, he's gonna be missed. Yeah.